click this icon here by the AutoCAD symbol for new drawing. And uh, since I'm using inches, I'm going to use a CAD 3D template for Imperial units and click open. Just going to adjust my screen. So tile vertically. Oh, I don't need this one. Just close that. Move this one to the other side. So click this window, tile vertically again. Just going to adjust my windows. And make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow and select parallel. And make sure your Z axis vector is pointing upward or use isometric view. So click this custom view. Select southwest, southeast, northeast, or northwest. It won't matter as long as. If you look at the UCS, as long as your Z-axis vector is pointing upward, if not, go to home. Go inside the coordinates panel, click the Z-axis vector, click anywhere on the screen, and just point it upward and click. And uh, make sure to turn on your dynamic input, polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, and maybe dynamic UCS. Now, I'm going to start drawing from... Or look, drawing uh, the circle, looking from top view. So this is, I'm going to start with a ball, which is this one here, this one, starting from here, which is also this one, this uh, middle circle. So C for circle. I'm just going to bring this closer. So C for circle. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option and enter 4.9, which is this one here. Now, the height of the ball is 2.95, so I'm going to draw a guide. So, line from center. Move your cursor upward. Make sure it's straight. You can tell it's straight because of the green dash line or you can, or you can turn on your ortho mode to make sure. So, 2.95 enter now i'm gonna draw another circle so the diameter of the top is 2.5 so c for circle click that in point type d for diameter option and enter 2.5 now i'm gonna draw another circle in between or somewhere in between which is 1.36 from the top. So, if you look at this from front view, I'm going to bring this to front view. So, this is how it looks. So, this one here, this line, this line here is this one, which is a circle actually, but it looks like a line when you look at it from front view. Now, I'm going to draw another circle. So, C for circle. Right, uh, Press the shift key and right click and select from. So I'm gonna draw a circle from that in point, move your cursor downward for 1.36. So now the circle, oh wait, because um, it's not working because our z-axis vector should be pointing upward. You can always do that again if this happens. Click z-axis vector, click in on the screen and point it upward. Okay, again, circle, shift right click and select from. From that in point, snap that. Move your cursor downward for 1.36. Now the circle starts from that point and the diameter is 4.27 as shown here. So type D for diameter option, enter, and enter 4.27. So I'm going to bring this to front view. So this is how it looks. So this is the one. And for top view, if I bring this to top view, so this is the um, this circle here, this one here, the middle three circles. All right. Now I'm gonna bring this to southwest isometric again, and to go to the ribbon and inside the modeling panel, select loft command. Just click these three circles, enter and enter again. 
Now the thickness of this bowl is uh, 0.05. So I'm gonna use shell command. So go to solid, select shell command, select the object you wanna shell, and then go down. See everything now. If you shell this one without opening this uh, object, the shell is gonna be inside and it's uh, you cannot see it from outside. Unless you cut the object or change the view to uh, X-ray, so go to go to the um, common window and select undo, undo this face, and enter, and enter 0 0.05, and enter again. See this one is open. I'm just gonna turn off the grid. Now, for the base of this bowl. I'm gonna draw another circle with a diameter of 8. So this one here, which is also this one. All right. So C for circle, snap the center or, the, or that in point, type D for diameter option, and enter 8. And extrude this one, and the thickness of this uh, plate is. Uh, from this point to this point is 0.5 so I'm gonna extrude this one downward 4.5 another plate here with a diameter of 8.5 so C for circle snap the center see that blue color circle just snap that Type D for diameter option and enter 8.5. And the thickness for that is 0.15. So extrude this one downward for 0.15. Now the size of this plate and the one at the bottom is the same. So what I'm going to do is just copy this one. Copy and snap the center so just hover over the side so shift right click and select center option and just if you put this here see that circle here it uh, show and snap that cross and snap it to the face of this uh, the lowest uh, cross here see the blue color and snap that there you go now i'm gonna union these objects well the whole thing you can union and then poke a hole through this face and uh, as you can see here from the reference drawing the diameter of the hole is 4.81 so C for circle snap the center type D for diameter option enter and enter 4.81 and um, use press pull command so hover over this face and left click let go and just bring it up to this point don't uh, pull it up up to that point because the whole object is now union so it might um, do something so just click somewhere here oh see so we have to be careful so undo so select the circle so use press pull command hover over the circle once it turns blue just bring it up and just snap the quadrant somewhere here to be safe we don't want it to be very high so just up to that point see snap the quadrant and enter there you go now i'm gonna draw the bolt holes so if you look at from the top view so this circle is the guide so bring your drawing to top view so c for circle snap the center type d for the meter option and enter 6.35 which is this one here and then another circle so draw it uh, at the quadrant and the radius for that is 0.16 so C for circle you can use this quadrant or this quadrant you can tell it's quadrant because of the diamond symbol and enter 0.16 now hold down the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time and extrude this one all the way down then bring this back to top view 
because I'm gonna array that object I'm, I'm gonna change this to shaded with edges so it's easier to see so type in array polar select the object you want to array enter and select polar array and specify center point snap that center right click select items and enter eight items and enter again I cannot use associative object to subtract from this uh, bonnet so what I'm gonna do is explode this one first so X for explode command select the object enter so now these are individual objects now subtract command so go to home and select subtract command inside the solid editing panel so this uh, symbol here Select the object you want to keep, right click, and select the objects that you want to use to subtract. And enter. Alright. And the next thing I'm going to do is poke a hole through the top. So circle again. Snap the center. Type D for the meter option and enter 1.7. which is this one here all right so use press pull command hover over this circle left click and just let go of your finger and left click again now i'm gonna apply uh, fillet and for the fillet I'm gonna change the size of the fillet here, which is uh, 0 0.05. I'm gonna change it to half of 1.15 to make it more rounded. So I'm just gonna use point 0 0.075. So go to solid, select fillet edge, right click, and select radius option, and enter point 0 0.075, and enter. Click. Click the edge of this plate and the another edge, enter and enter again. So it's more rounded if I change this to realistic. And then another plate, 4.05. So fill it edge again, right click, select radius option and enter 0 0.05. And click this edge here, this edge, and uh, this edge. Oh, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Now, I'm going to extrude this face. This one here. See that raised face? 4.15. So, extrude command. Or, no, not extrude, but press pull command inside the solid panel. Press pull. Hover over this face. Why is it not? Okay, again, press pull. It's not working. Come on. It's supposed to work. If not, I'm just gonna use another circle. Snap the quadrant. And then raise these two circles. So extrude for 0.15 enter and i'm just gonna use subtract command subtract select object you wanna keep right click and select this object inside that one now i'm gonna union this object and this object now i could apply fillet edge radius option enter 0 0.05 and enter oh, again fillet edge radius Accept 105, enter, and click that edge and this edge. No, not that one. Just that, enter, and enter again.
I think we're good. Now I could apply materials. Just minimize this one. Maximize this one. And type in materials. So, there you go. And then click this drop down arrow by the, to this library. Select metal. And I'm gonna select rusted. And click the arrow here to bring it up here. And just drag it and apply it to this uh, object. I'm gonna edit because it's too rough so click this pen and uh, I'm just gonna change the color so click color I'm gonna make it uh, into a darker reddish darker click OK and then uh, adjust the image so just drag that there a little bit I think that's good and click image and I'm gonna change the size to maybe three. Let's check. Yeah, I think three is good. And then the brightness, I could adjust that. And that's good. Close. And the image. Yeah, and click this arrow here by reflectivity. And just drag this one to adjust the sheen or the shine. You can change the oblique. Or maybe increase the glossiness a little bit to make it look like metal. I think that's good. And then close. I'm just going to move this object. And get rid of these uh, unwanted ones. And I think we are done. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. So this is the bonnet, which is part of the fire hydrant. And see you again. Thanks for watching.